Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and we are here with another reaction video to What If? And today's episode is T'Challa Becomes a Star-Lord. I didn't think they were going to go this direction. Um, could be interesting. Seems Feels a little weird to me, but we'll, we'll find out and see uh, how it looks. I'm sure it'll be uh, visually very stunning again, assuming they're using the same... Um, animation artist style so yeah i've been really enjoying these so far um this is only the second episode so let's get to it i see worlds and the countless stories that fill them morag hmm drop it drop it now identify yourself i am just an ordinary junker um, but there is one name you may know me Oh, that was not the reaction I was expecting. He gets a better that reaction than Star Lord could be convinced to make a career change. I appreciate the entrance. Be the this guy's the such fight. a fanboy. I'm curious how he'll. Oh, oh. my lord, right here. Hit me. Oh, my lord. I barely moved. Hit me. Oh, my gosh. Classic Star Lord. Oh my gosh. He's smiling. <laughs> it's so well, funny. I have hired Wes. Oh. A ravager never flies solo. Okay, so he'll still be. Is that some kind of catchphrase? Oh, there we go. Yay! So they're still together. Okay, cool. Wouldn't you rather use it to jump start he the still has the Same Black Panther no stuff. Worth as much as the so are they suggesting that T'Challa got picked up from Earth? The beginning of his journey was much more down to oh. Earth. Thank you for answering that. Of living in a bubble. There must be more, but we must be brave enough to search. Though the blood of a king runs through your veins, it is pumped by the heart of an explorer. All you will find mm. there is destruction and pain. Of life. Um, he wants to find that what for you himself. Call destiny is just an equation. As fate would have it, at that very moment, a Ravager spacecraft was arriving on Earth to abduct the spawn of the celestial ego. But in this universe, Yondu outsourced the assignment to his subordinates. Uh oh. You morons grabbed the wrong kid. Okay. Oh, not so <laughs> Everything checks out. Does this really <laughs> look like Peter? to y'all sure i don't know all humans look alike to me what you doing out there all by yourself anyway exploring the world sounds fun we can show you all of them so now they're just excited to have a kid with them and t'challa's just all happy fine and dandy with just leaving up his family he wants to explore that bad you you uh live your life uh-oh no, I'm a big enough man to admit when I'm wrong. Oh my gosh. Oh my I gosh. Oh, so I still assert. Wow. Wow. Let's sit Your down and have a conversation. No <gasps> Let us take a picture sent to my wife and daughter. Oh, they're yeah, alive. You look terrible. I look great. He looks pretty good from where I'm standing. Nebula. Nebula? And they're together? You still wear your past around your neck. You ever think oh. of going back? Yandu attempted to return me to Wakanda, but... It had been destroyed. <gasps> Baba won. That was all humans. And Zati was right. Wow. I can't tell if they're romantically interested or not. And eradicate hunger across the galaxy. Don't tell Captain Genocide over here. He must spoil his fun. <laughs> New guy's pretty funny. Uh, wait, 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 wait. You mean she's your offspring? Adopted. Adopted. I've been trying to get them into counseling. So who's the mark? Oh, tell us. We steal from the rich and give to the poor, right? Robin Leach. Robin Hood. Whatever. Leech. That's our racket. Never have been any good at saying no to you, kid. He's before. just so good at having the conversations with people. The rest of his heart on Morag. But really, it'll be T'Challa inside. I had to it's still so weird. I get thrown off midnight. seeing Looks him with like the Star-Lord mask. Running the museum. Hold it. The Collector. Oh, oh my snap. dearest Nebula. I went straight and I got square. Hey, if you boys are done gossiping, I brought what you asked. The space doggy. It's sad just seeing everything just in a box, though. I anticipated. Been saving for something big. Yeah, we're small if you catch my drift. Embers of Genesis? You know I can find them. Cosmic Flora down the hall. Take a Louis at the Frost Giants, a hard Ralph at the Crone, and destroy it. Just take me there. Give me the toy. 
Oh, they're just starting it all out, girl. Oh, snap. There's just a random bar in the middle of that. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh! Ooh, I just got chills. Mm. What? My son, T'Challa, was abducted from Earth by Aww. an alien spacecraft. You are one bright, burning light in the night sky of billions. We'll search every last one of them until we find you. Aww. They didn't. Oh, Cha Cha. Oh, so I he didn't understand. take him back. That's I had the... a debt with a collector. <gasps> Nebula. He lied. I was protecting you. You're just like me, T'Challa. The past ain't nothing but a prison. You belong up here with us, with your family. Yeah, how are you gonna get out of this? Ugh. I simply abhor drama. Your outfit would suggest otherwise. <laughs> Class, I prefer you in the cage. Where I come from, history has never looked kindly on those who lock men in cages. Dissect them and strip his remains. Whoa. That's interesting that Thanos' old minions are working for him. What in the world? Oh. 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 There's awfully a lot of people. Oh no. What kind of being leaves a party without saying goodbye? That's not his arm, is it? I had that off the carcass of a terribly chatty crow. Oh no! Not anymore, we can play. A dagger forced in dark matter. Taken from the ruler of the dark elf. Yeah. Captain America's shield. Oh, oh no. He's got some moves for sure. Not crazy. Man. Why do I like good boy Thanos? <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be hard to leave. Oh. Ain't no way in hell. I was gonna leave here without my kid. And then there's the opposite, where a daughter's not going to leave her dad. Yeah, I don't, how's a gun going to compare to... Oh! Oh no! That was risky. <laughs> so funny. That guy has definitely got some enhancements. What's the mom them feet? I like the music. I trust you'll know what to do with this. Oh, I have some ideas. Karina, uh -oh. Can I have my <laughs> no. Oh no. 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 Oh, karma. Yeah. That looks cool. All crew members present and accounted for. Then I will see you at the rendezvous point. Copy that, Cha Cha. Whoa. Oh, he's so have a soft spot for Rana. And he's meditating. His she chair. really is a beaut, isn't she? I've always felt at home up here, knowing everything. I'm not quite sure where I belong. On any planet, among any people. There ain't no place in this galaxy where you don't belong. Oh, we all oh he's still us. alive. I'm too. sorry it took me so long. That sounds an awful lot like genocide. No, no, no. <laughs> it's random. Best friends. Oh, yeah. Jump Aww. points are the best. They make your face all... And from one family reunion to oh. another. Uh, sorry. We're close. What, Peter? Can't spare a little time. Oh no. Dear old dad. Too bad this might spell the end of the world. Oh no.
obviously this is uh this hit me a little harder than i anticipated um chadwick uh, i i didn't know him obviously but from what we've seen about him and his skill he was immensely talented and a wonderful person that dedicated time to help people that were going through things that people didn't realize he was also going through um but I thought they interestingly, you could tell the way that people reflect him on screen. I think I'm sad because he was such a good person and such a good soul. And the way they reflected T'Challa in the show seemed like a reflection of how they saw Chadwick. And so I thought it was very sweet and a good testament to who he was that he made the universe better. He like convinced Thanos to not do his genocide and he convinced he just changed the course of some things just because of who he was obviously his talents and his skill but more so it seemed just because of his person and who he was so i just thought that was really beautiful especially in the end when they're on the ship and he's he was told basically like no matter where you go you'll belong and i think they kind of surprisingly did not expect to get so <laughs> emotional about this uh so yeah that was that note about it um, i just really liked the, how they it, again i think them saying obviously this was like the last thing like this that was actually like him voicing it i knew it was coming but especially too when he when he saw the message from his dad and his dad's like we'll look for you on this plane or the next right which again just like subtle things hinting that his spirit lingers on anyways as for the episode itself obviously good um really cool to see a different side to some of these characters and again the impact his presence had on some courses uh, such as thanos being on the team was really fun to see him being a good guy and helping in him having a relationship with uh, nebula um that was really sweet i'm curious where gamora is and then that little kind of hint at the end there of Peter and Ego meeting. That was a fun note. And yeah, I loved seeing that little Drax moment. And them saying like that his wife and do kid is still alive. That's so sweet. <sighs> and the collector, yeah, that's a really um, unfortunate, it's really interesting concept. And I feel like the collection, at least in this animated, was reflected a lot more immense than it was in the movie but I think it's obviously been going on a lot longer at this point. I don't know. Or he's more powerful because he doesn't have the competition of Thanos. What a horrible life to live in a cage. But yeah, uh, overall, really fun episode. A lot of cool concepts. Some interesting points of, I'm curious how he got the Black Panther necklace. I don't, I didn't remember him having that as a child, but that's just a, a small thing. I'm. And this is a what if, this is a fun thing. It was really cool to see the ship there and remind him of home. And was sweet to see that he still, you know, he had a family. And I don't know the guy's name, but the guy from the beginning, he was so funny. He was a fanboy the whole time. He was just so gun ho and excited just to be a part of it all. That's so fun. It was interesting to see Nebula with like luscious blonde hair. I didn't recognize her at first, but I guess she was less machine than she was because she wasn't tortured by her dad, I guess. I, I I don't recall much of that story as I thought. Anyways, uh, emo unexpected emotional aside, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Again, um, really fun, good episode. I, I, I obviously can only speak so much on it, but I thought it was a sweet, little note in reflection almost feels like a little like a love note to chadwick um in his in his time with marvel in seeing that you know it's kind of an interesting choice at first but it, it, it's sweet to see him up in space up in those clouds the same up in the sky the same sky that was reflected in that that sleep where they see the ancestors that seem very remnant of that so i th thought it was a really cool subtle things just to show like he may have been gone from this plane, but he lives on in another. Thanks so much for watching, guys. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this episode and my reaction review. If you're wanting to see more 
just hit the subscribe button. We'll continue to watch this show. And there's more stuff on the channel as well if you like Marvel and Star Wars especially. And if you like this video, you know how to show that support with a thumbs up. Otherwise, thanks so much for being here and I'll see you on the next one.